Okay, so we've got Kyle in studio, and then Spotlight up here, we have Jordan Norlick. So very quickly here, guys, um, because we are running behind. So let me, let me just Please, make a quick ahead. introduction. Jordan Norlick is the founder of Let's Chat, and um, Kyle is our liaison, and, and uh, he's helping uh, build the distribution for Let's Chat. Better is the distribution arm for the, uh, for the entire company, and it's changing the world. Uh, and they're part of the platform. We love it. We think it's fantastic. And uh, I'm going to introduce, this is Kyle Offrey. And uh, he's, he's worked with Comcast Sports and uh, NBC Universal. So he is uh, the one who brought this opportunity to better. And uh, so Kyle, I'm going to turn it over to you and Jordan just to give a quick, you know, few minutes about why it's so special, why it's needed in the they give your give us your pitch and let everyone know that's out there watching this or that watches it later when they're why should they be talking to people about let's chat? Why is let's chat changing the world? Yeah, and so thank you for that. Thanks for hosting this guys. Thanks for uh, putting this together. Um, and uh, Jordan, feel free to, to chime in or or uh, or whatnot. Um, so so let's chat is a very unique product. It's an AI powered tool, which uh, in today's world that's kind of the hot hottest thing today, right? This. Uh, the thing with Let's Chat is it's been in development for over almost 10 years now. So this just didn't appear six months ago like everything else in the AI world just popped up. Uh, Jordan uh, developed, Jordan and Matt, who's the other founder, they developed this product 10 years ago. Uh, they've been building out the technology. They own patents behind the technology. Um, it, not, no one else has it. So when it comes to translation services, there's Google Translate. There's other products out there. Nothing compares to Let's Chat, whether it's the, the patents behind the product, whether it's the amount of uh, the accuracy between the languages, plus the capabilities. So Let's Chat works across all platforms, um, all forms of communication. It's, not, it, it's, uh, it's called browser agnostic. It's a big word. Um, I can't spell it. You can't spell it. <laughs> Curtis probably can. John probably can. Me and you probably can. Um, but what that means is it works on every platform. So like, if you think of a Google Translate, Google Translate only works on Google. So if you have a Safari, if you have an iPhone and you use Safari, guess what? Google Translate doesn't exist, right? Yeah. And, and, and anything. And, and Google Translate doesn't work on videos. Google Translate doesn't work on documents. Google Translate doesn't work on your website. Uh, some, some does, some doesn't, limited languages. Let's Chat works on every device, every platform, every form of communication. So if you wanted a video translated into another language, it does it. If you wanted a video subtitle, if you wanted a document translated, if you wanted a website, an app, if you wanted your chat bots, if you wanted your, your video libraries, you name it, Let's Chat can do it. Um, and so the, the most exciting thing that I see about Let's Chat is there's no barriers. There's no restrictions of who can benefit from Let's Chat, whether it's in the US or around the world. It could be a big top 30 business in the, in the world like Comcast, who is actually an investor in Let's Chat, an early investor in Let's Chat, who owns equity in the company because they see the value. They use it across their entire global company but also your niece or nephew who's a social media influencer who does YouTube and, and TikTok, they could use Let's Chat. So it has the capability to work with the biggest businesses in the world or the smallest business in your backyard. And it can benefit everybody um, and, and anyone who uses it and completely eliminate language barriers. Sounds super cool. How expensive is it? Uh, as of this morning, a lot cheaper. Okay, why? What happened? What <laughs> happened? Don't say. What happened? News. What, news. Right here, what right. happened this morning? This morning, I sent out an email to you guys, which you haven't read because you've been on this. That's correct. So, due to the extreme volume of Let's Chat over the last six months and the growth, um, plus we have just onboarded a, a new full-time CTO last month, a chief technical officer. For those who who don't know what that is. Um, we have been able to drastically reduce our costs from our server costs and our development costs, um, which is allowing us to drastically lower our prices. So we have some products that are free. That was good. Yeah. So Into we, the mic. we have a yeah. product that's on our on our, <laughs> our on our portal now uh, that is totally free. It's called uh, Let's Chat Speakeasy. Okay. And it's the equivalent of Google Translate. Okay. So you can go on there, put in a text, translate it to another language, except Let's Chat is on a bad day in our worst language, 96% accurate. Google Translate is about 75 to 80% accurate. And on a good day. On a yeah. good day. So I don't know if you've ever had a conversation, but if, if I'm speaking to you even in English and 25% of what I'm saying you don't understand, I, that's and we both speak English, right? It's like talking to someone from the deep south, like someone from New York <laughs> talking to somebody from like... You know, the, the French cage in Louisiana, deep south. And okay. The, the, the accents are just total separate languages, right? So we have free products. 
Um, and our most expensive product as of today is uh, $97 a month. Wow. That's so, surprisingly inexpensive. Yes. So even somebody that's doing social media videos could yeah. add this to what they're doing and it gets translated. Correct. And obviously there's fees that go on top of it, right? So like our website translation tool, which can go on anyone's website, automatically live and in real time translate a website into 104 languages. Right now, the price of that is 25 bucks a month, 24.99 a month. Okay. Plus usage, right? So if you're going to do a hundred thousand translated page views, we charge you per translated page views. Think of it like okay. a phone bill, right? I pay my phone bill, my, my, my line is just 50 bucks a month, and I pay for data, for whatever, data, right? right? It's the same concept. So okay. it's a true SaaS model, service as a software, um, but the, the, bar the barrier to entry from a cost perspective, the most expensive product now is 97 bucks, bucks a month. Most of our products are in that 5 to $25 range. Last week, literally, in Costa Rica, I was in my house, and my house mom speaks not a lick of English. I speak a little Spanglish. Yeah. And she was <laughs> using a translator type speaking into it and showing it to me to ask me, you know, yes. what, I, what I needed for the house. And, and it, it's, it's needed. And what's the percentage of businesses out there that need, that have customers they're missing? You know, and maybe you or Jordan can give us just a couple stats I'm on that. I'm going to read these stats because I posted it's on the Better Income uh, Facebook page. So we just posted this, but I want to get them right. So By the way, Jordan, uh, you're a genius, I guess. <laughs> and um, so how, do you have to be a genius to sell this? I mean, most people have never sold software. Most people have, I mean, do you have to be technologically savvy to be in this space and be in this market and be able to make money and sell it? Jeff, that's an absolutely brilliant question. And the answer is no, you don't need any, any experience with, with tech to, to sell this. Frankly, all you have to do is if you know a business, if you know someone who is in need of translation uh, help with that, which most businesses in the U.S. or even worldwide would love to uh, provide their tools in different languages. Just ask them, hey, do you need any help with translation? And if they're interested, get us on a call. We have, we have employees on Left Chat staff who will happily help on the call and talk with the businesses and yourself to get them uh, up to date and up to speed with all of our products and services. So you don't need to be a pro with any of our services. Just as long as you know one of your contacts is, needs translation help, we'll be there to help with it. I love that the founder and CEO of the whole company is sitting here on our podcast, our yeah. inaugural pod, podcast that we uh, are fumbling over here today. It's it's great. So I got Testament some stats for you. Give us the stats real and quick. We'll wrap with that. Apparently somebody said I need to be clear. I've never been told I'm not loud enough. So I, I usually sit back yeah, from the mic. Yeah, I'm speak into the mic. Yeah. So here's a few stats that I just posted. It's in the Better Facebook group, but... Uh, these are all based on CSA Research. It's a big global research company. Uh, has nothing to do with our stats, but here's a few good ones. 75% of cons consumers are more likely to buy products from a website in their native language. In 2022, a study by PayPal, we've all heard of PayPal, says 50% of online shoppers are international buyers. Mm. So 50% of even a U.S. company, 50% of their buyers are from an international market. Uh, 87% of B2C, so business-to-consumer customers, said they would not buy from an English-only website. 87%. And here's my favorite fact. Uh, translating your website into the following languages enables you to reach 80% of the online global purchasing power. And here are the eight languages. English, Chinese, Japanese, Spanish, German, French, Portuguese, and Italian. Hmm. If your website offered those eight languages, you would be able to uh, access 80% of the global buying power from consumers in those eight languages. And we offer 104. Wow. And so just, I mean, you guys can look up all the stats, languages for businesses, uh, you know, they're, they're out there. Um, and then in the U.S. Uh, is 22% of, this was 2021 stats, I'm sure it's uh, different, improved now or, or higher now. 22% 20, of the U.S. does not speak any English. 20% of U.S. citizens that fill out a census data don't speak English. And over 50%, I think it's 56%, speak English as a second language. So English is not their first language. Uh, so they're, they're, they rather communicate or buy something not in English. So that's half the U.S. at least, which is 330, 340 million, right? So you're looking at, uh, you know, a nice chunk of people that would benefit from language translation services. So last but not least, last question, I'll let you get out of here because we're, we're running a little behind today. But if you can, can you name drop some of the businesses that we either already have on board under contract, deals with, or we're, we're getting close to, obviously don't violate any NDAs, but what's, <laughs> yeah, yeah. what's going on? Like most people are selling to their uncle, which is great, their aunt, their brother, their sister, their cousin, 
their friend who's got a lemonade stand. What what kind of businesses are we actually approaching with Let's Chat and Landing? And all those businesses are great. Your local businesses can be customers, right? Your friends, your family. It's families. affordable enough, yeah. It's affordable Everyone enough for it. that. But when you get into the big scale, uh, we work with customers. Let's go to the sports industry. A few customers like the NFL and the National Football League. We do all of their videos, so we do all their subtitling dubbing. Wow. So if you ever watch an NFL game in another language, uh, they send us the live feed of four-hour NFL video. We translate into any language in 30 seconds. Mm, right okay. with our technology so that's a good one comcast is obviously a customer which includes nbc sports um uh we just are doing a big deal with the olympics la 28 that's coming to the u.s we're doing all a lot of content for the olympics those are big in the sports world major league soccer is a big customer of ours in the, the restaurant world a few good ones are uh i don't know if you've heard of these uh mcdonald's bojangles zaxby's chick-fil-a uh those are a few customers of ours um, when you get into the automotive is a big customer. Of ours. So cars.com dealer to inspire some brands like that sure. uh, within better. We've signed some really exciting deals. We just uh, brought on X games as a customer. Uh, we are now a, the official language partner of SAP global, which is a multi-billion dollar global company. They have 11,000 sales reps that are now all selling uh, let's chat through better. Um, and, and those are, I would say those are pretty few significant name Big real estate companies. Uh, yeah, uh, Exit Reality, uh, EXP. Um, you know, some uh, few hundred thousand real estate agents are going to be using our products by the end of the year. Uh, you know, some small stuff like that. Okay, you're done. All right, we don't need any more. That's good enough. The, the that podcast was is over. and that was Elevate. Good <laughs> God. All right. Hey, <laughs> no, thank you so much, Kyle Jordan. Thank you for taking time out of your day to be here. We appreciate the fact that we still get to be around the founder and CEO of these big companies. So yes. looking Always forward to it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank Appreciate you. it.